Okay, I'll start with you. I'll ask you a few basic questions, yeah. and then I'll swing over to you. No worries. Cool. Uh, what's your trail name? My trail name is Chaco. Explain that. And I got Chaco. I hike in my Chacos uh, the entire time. Are you kidding? No, yeah. Uh, full Chaco. Those are your hiking boots? Yeah, these are my hiking boots right Are you here. crazy? Uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little insane, but uh, I don't like boots. They're too, like, restrictive. I'm kind of like a free spirit most of the time, uh, hence the Chacos. And I just, I just like, pitch them, like, to people. Like, I don't have any blisters. Like, I've never stubbed my toe. And then, like, two weeks later, I stubbed my toe and maybe broke it. So that's the only downside. Uh, I'm feeling great. Like, when it rains, I don't have to worry about it. I just, like, step in puddles and splash people and they get mad uh, but yeah Chaco's Chaco uh, Chaco rep it started and then Chaco for short when did you start out? I started April 11th uh, at Amicalola or Springer? Springer I don't want to deal with Amicalola I'm too impatient oh to get on the trail <laughs> so did you overpack? Uh, not really I was really because I've been everybody overpacks I, I mean, I did send home a couple items, uh, and I started with a base weight of like 24, and now I'm down to like 22 or something. Just like winter gloves and just useless stuff I don't need. So did you start out with him? No, uh, I started on April 8th. We've been uh, hiking together. We met, I don't know, a week and a half in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, about like a week that. and a half in, and we were uh, we hiked together for about three weeks and uh, kind of separated the past few days, but <laughs> meeting up at trail days, so. So what's, be, uh, what's your trail name? My trail name's Mowgli. I got that name uh, I, about a few days in. It was a hot day, or it was kind of a cold. It was a cold day, but we were hot from hiking. We were all hanging out underneath these cool trees. Uh, I took my shirt off because I was trying to get some sun uh, for whatever reason. I was climbing up in a tree, and I guess I had more of a baby face and long hair, and someone was like, dude, you're Mowgli. You're like a jungle boy. So I was like, all right, I'll stick with it. It's a cool that's name. What, that's what Mowgli means, jungle boy? Well, Mowgli is from the Jungle Book. Oh. So if you've ever seen the Disney movie, The Jungle Book, in fact, they're just re-releasing a new movie about it. So yeah, Mowgli's a, I guess, a, a jungle boy, boy in the jungle. So you're actually I got a poster child. I got the Disney. name. <laughs> yeah. So what shared experiences have you had on the trail? Have you guys been hiking together for some time? Yeah. Yeah. About yeah. Three, yeah. Three, three weeks. Three, three and a half weeks. Yeah. yeah. We've, we've hiked on. We've the had some like interesting experiences. Well, we've actually, <laughs> to be quite frank, um, it was all great. And then you know, after about two and a half, three weeks with uh, somebody you start to kind of butt heads maybe things start changing so we actually kind of split uh, went some separate ways a few days ago being real here yeah but, uh, we're still awesome friends like we got together on trail days we've been hanging out this whole time uh, just kind of sometimes <laughs> it works sometimes thing. you can hike with people and it works mm -hmm. and it can work for a week we can have but then it's like you start to like want to do your own thing and uh, yeah, whatever and you can group hop to like different bubbles yeah. and stuff like yeah. that Sounds like my marriage. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> we had a we had a pretty interesting experience in the Smokies together. We got to this shelter, um, and there was a bear that was lingering around the shelter. And it's kind of you know you see we saw a few bears, but they would just run off. This was a pretty large bear that did not want to leave us alone. Um, definitely a problem bear. It hung around probably since about I don't know 4:30 in the evening until yeah 4:30 until at least yeah. when it got dark and. When it got dark, we had to like we were chasing the bear away, like throwing rocks at it, and it just wasn't doing anything. It and wasn't finally, really scared of us. Uh, it finally, didn't... like went up the ridge a little bit, and then yeah. it came back, and it came back to get somebody's pack, and it actually like yeah. drugged the pack ten feet away. Yeah, there was a guy tenting like rush at away it. from the shelter, and I don't know, it could have been serious, I guess, but. Uh, it was an interesting night, you know, with the bear. It made it really entertaining at the shelter. I, I remember we woke up the next day. Everyone slept in the shelter. There was probably 25, 30 people in that shelter. People Way were sleeping overloaded. on the floor. Luckily, we got there early, so we were sleeping on the top bunk. Uh, so we knew that if the bear came in the shelter, the the people sleeping on the floor would be the alarms. <laughs> so, Prime real estate, so we slept yeah. okay that night, but it was very interesting because, you know, I woke up the next day. We're like, oh, man, is the bear still there? Someone said they had saw it. I'm eating breakfast, you know, sitting in front of the shelter on the bench I look over to my right and I see the bear not 30 feet away just walking and I'm like what is happening right now <laughs> just getting ready for the next group of hikers yeah so we got out of there uh, I'm not sure I'm, we talked to the ridge runner of course we were walking away from it and uh, that was kind of the first experience but uh, ridge runner out there had got word that it was at one shelter the night before and it migrated down to our shelter the next night and we hear from some people behind us that it was still lingering around and we heard that they're probably 
probably gonna have to euthanize it uh, for that reason because it's too comfortable around hikers. But we did hear a rumor that they might try to scare it off or relocate it, so hopefully that's the case. I guess the moral of the story is don't leave trash in the campsite. Please leave no trace. We've seen a lot. Always hang your food. Don't yeah. sleep with We've seen the a lot of trash. A lot of people out there, uh, not necessarily through hikers, but a lot of people are leaving some trash out there.